Hi, I'm Ninja Tyberg and I'm the writer and director of the film Pleasure. Uh, it was actually when I was 16 uh, and my first uh, boyfriend, uh, who I lost my virginity to, showed me a porn film and I realized how all of his friends, they all watched porn and exchanging these porn cassettes and me and my friends, we didn't even admit to each other that we were masturbating. This was like around the year 2000, I was 16. So the content was pretty much the same as it is now. It was all about, you know, everything from a male perspective, satisfying the male ego, satisfying male fantasies. I became part of like an anti-porn movement. I became an anti-porn activist. I was anti-porn, still secretly watching the porn that I was against. I don't see this as the solution, you know, trying to get rid of porn. It's not going to disappear. It's going to be here. Uh, and I became more interested in like, how can I be part of a positive change? So I became interested in feminist pornography. When I made, decided to make the feature, I decided I have to do this the proper way and really go and get to know this world for real from the inside. And then during five years, I went back and forth between Sweden and LA. I met with so many people and became friends with people and spent like so much time on porn sets and uh, even lived in a model house for a while. Yeah, everything in the film is based on that research. Hold up your ID, please. Okay, can you hold up the newspaper to show today's date? Okay, and what is your date of birth? Uh, 27th of April, 1999. I, I have been very inspired by Ruben Östlund, who's also my mentor. Yeah, he was the one who invited me to come to join his production company platform. I was inspired by Spring Breakers, a little bit inspired by The Wrestler. Everything in the film is somehow inspired by something, but I'm not aware of it. The most challenging aspect was to find the right balance between everything I wanted to capture. Because I sometimes feel sorry for the audience because I feel like I'm like stuffing, you know, so much into it. It's just like one hour, 45 minutes that I have to try to like say everything for my 20 year long process. It was like this cultural clash between we had one part of the team was Swedish who knew me, who knew the way I worked. And we had like maybe one third was from like traditional American porn crew. And then one third was from the porn industry. Making sure that Sofia was felt safe. We didn't have an intimacy coordinator because we didn't know about that. It was, we shot all of the sex scenes in 2018. We had never heard of an intimacy coordinator. So I had to do that work. I had a lot of help. We were like a crew, like a team around her with, yeah, women from Sweden. Yeah, I was I was constantly afraid that I would do to her the things that the film is criticizing because it is like working with real people. And, you know, it's just, I make my fiction, like I make my art, but I'm using real people. We searched all over Sweden. We were in contact with thousands of, of young women. Everyone around me would like after a while, you know, after, five months seven months a year people were starting to say like that you that i was crazy and chasing a ghost and i'm never gonna find her because she's like a fantasy figure that i invented in my head and no one is good enough because no one is this person that doesn't exist i didn't know exactly how she would be i just knew that like i'm gonna know when i find her and then uh, it was just a coincidence that she came to an audition we had a friend in common who had uh, told her about that I was looking for this person for a, to play a porn star. She didn't know that she had this incredible talent to act, for acting, but she discovered it like while we were during the um, audition and when we started to rehearse and it was very fascinating. Are you ready to make a banana happy? This is like an old man's banana. Okay, I'm sorry, but not everything is all sunshine and sparkles. We work with what we've got. All right. Suck it. <laughs> I think it's the dynamic between uh, between the girls, like Sofia and Rivika, who plays Joy. When they start to improvise sometimes, like for example, there's a scene when they're sitting by the train tracks uh, and eating Chinese food. The, the way they laugh and you know, her, and then also when Sofia sings, that's also something that I just like in the moment, like, okay, go up and just sing whatever song comes to you. And she just, does it and it's so beautiful. I have an idea and I've chosen these people, but then they really continue with it and make something fantastic that I'm not really in charge over anymore. I can just, 
you know, witness it. That's so cute. Okay, I want the part where they put the big part in. Here's the thing, I can actually chop this up into different um, clips and you can sell these.